What is up guys? It's the kid Ebenezer from Pong and welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to start off by thanking you guys for subscribing and watching these videos because I truly truly appreciate it. And please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. All the links will be down below in the description because when I start doing giveaways I'll be doing them on those platforms and I plan on pushing content on those platforms as well. So please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. Thank you guys again, and let's get started. How to set up Google AdWords. How to set up your Google AdWords account to start running shopping campaigns or to even run search campaigns. Google gives you $100 AdWords credit. Most people don't know about this. So please follow these instructions very carefully because if you don't, you will not get that AdWords credit. So please pay attention. You can pause, rewind, do whatever you gotta do, but please make sure you follow the first part of this tutorial very closely. Let's hop right in. Actually, I wanna show you something first. So let's go to Google Merchant Center. And as always, we're using the demo account that we created in the very first tutorial video. So once you log into Google Merchant Center and your, your shopping feed has finally been approved, this is what you will see. It will be green. If it's disapproved, it will be magenta colored or whatever color this is right here. Now notice that it took about five days for the shopping feed to get approved. That's how long it normally takes. So don't get stressed out when it hasn't been approved immediately. It will normally take three to five days. So it's okay. If your feed has been disapproved, Google will tell you what you need to fix and you can actually give Google a call. You'll get an account specialist who will walk you through what you need to fix to get your feed approved. Unlike Facebook where you can, it's really impossible to reach anyone at Facebook. So now that we have that out the way, let's get started on setting up your AdWords account. So to get that free $100 AdWords credit, if your store is already live, you need to go to discounts and scroll down here. There should be a Google AdWords link down here where Shopify offers you $100 AdWords credit. If you don't see it, that's okay. Go back to your homepage. So what we're looking for is the $100 AdWords credit. Well, sometimes they put it down here instead of your um, discounts box. So you're, we're looking for it here and I don't see it, but if it's here, you click that, it will take you to the discount section and that AdWords credit will actually pop up for you to click and set up your AdWords account through that and get the $100 credit. If you don't see it here, you don't see it in your discounts box, your discount section, that's okay. If you have Oberlo installed, that's the next spot that we're gonna look. So if you go into Oberlo, if you have Oberlo installed in your store, you should see another offer for the $100 AdWords credit right up here. If you don't, it's okay, I have you taken care of. I actually found the link and I put it inside the conversion tag template. That will be the first link in my description. You can click that, download the template, and that link for your $100 AdWords credit will be in there. For this tutorial purposes, let's say that the AdWords credit is here. I have it saved right here. So after you click that link, right, you're gonna get taken to this page. Make sure it says this, get $100 credit when you spend 25 presented by Shopify and then click start advertising today. And of course, this is the demo email that we created. Again, please, please do not email this account. You will not get a reply. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and skip the guided setup. Demo friend pong at Gmail. Time zone, I'm in the Eastern time zone. Currency, US dollar. Save and continue. Okay, so now your address account is partially set up. What we're gonna be doing next is setting up our conversion tag. So what that basically is, it's very similar to the Facebook pixel. And this is how we set that up. So you're gonna click this little wrench looking thing here, go to conversions, click plus conversions, go to website, conversion name. So I'm gonna name it Frim Alley Shopify Store Conversions. Select the category that best describes this conversion action. We're gonna go to purchase slash sale. Select how to track the value of each conversion. 
use the same value for each conversion? Nope, we don't want that because all the products on your store are not gonna be the exact same price. So you never wanna use this first one, you wanna use this one. Use different values for each conversion. Enter a default value, a dollar. So what the default value means is, Google doesn't see a price on the product on your store, they're automatically gonna say it's worth a dollar. Right, so leave this alone. We're gonna edit the tag later to get exact transaction specific values. Select how many conversions to count per click or interaction. You're gonna make sure every is selected. So what this means is, right here, they have an example. If someone clicks your ad, then makes three purchases, AdWords will count three conversions. So you, you want this selected. Leave everything else the same. Click create and continue. Now you're presented with two tags. So this is what you're gonna have to do next. Open up Microsoft Word or Google AdWords, not Google AdWords, Google Docs. Open up a Google Docs sheet or a Microsoft Word sheet. And you're gonna copy this first tag. So you're gonna paste that first half in here. Scroll down. Command C the second half and paste that in here as well. What you're gonna do next is this event snippet here. What you're gonna wanna do is delete that. And then combine both of these tags together just by simply doing this. Just remove the space in between it. Boom. Now here's the default value right here where Google is gonna count it as a dollar. This is what we're gonna edit. We're gonna change this right here. So you're gonna copy this, Command C. And then come up here, copy, highlight this, and then paste. So with this, now Google knows that each product on your store is a different price. So this is what you want to do here. And then you're going to copy this whole thing. Command C. Go back to Shopify. Go to settings. Go to checkout. Scroll down all the way to additional scripts and paste, then hit save. That is it. You have your conversion tracking officially set up. So you're going to go to next and then hit done. It will take a few hours for this to say verified. You're not done yet. We're not done. There's a couple more things we have to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start linking everything together. So we're gonna link Merchant Center to AdWords. We're gonna link Analytics to AdWords as well. Open up a new tab and go to Google Merchant Center. Sign in. We're gonna go to these three dots. Account linking. AdWords is what you're gonna link. You're linking your AdWords account to your Google Merchant account. Since this is all under the same email, Google automatically pulls the AdWords customer ID into it, Merchant Center for you, but always double check it. So make sure this one ends in 3125. Let's make sure ours, our AdWords account ends in 3125 as well. 3125, yep, so that's the correct one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit link. So now that part of that is done. Google Merchant Center is now linked with Google AdWords. The next step, is Google Analytics. And then you're going to go to Admin. Under the property from Alley Shopify store or whatever your store name is, you're going to go to AdWords Linking. Again, 3125, double check, 3125, select, continue. Shopify. AdWords account. Select this, turn this on, all website data, because you want everything to sync together. This really comes in really handy when you start to optimize. Yes, share my analytics data with linked AdWords account. Hit link accounts, hit done. Congratulations, now analytics, Merchant Center, and AdWords are all three linked up together. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and check your email. Let's see. 
So what we're looking for is the $100 AdWords credit to be emailed to us. And it's not here yet. Sometimes it does take about 24 hours. So it's okay if you don't see it. But once you have that AdWords credit, it will be a long promo code. What you're going to do is you're going to go back into AdWords. You're going to go to Billing and Payments. You're going to fill all of this information in. Once you fill this out and hit save, there will be a tab that says promotional codes. And then you'll, pay, you'll paste that AdWords credit promo code into that box and hit save. And then you'll be officially good to go. And for this template, I, for this, I will actually went ahead and made a template that has this in it that you guys can download. That template also includes the link for this $100 free AdWords credit. So be sure to download that in the description. It will be the first link. Thank you guys again and see you guys next time. Yeah, I ain't a clown though. I'm from the north. You might catch me out at clown cone. You call my phone about some money, you get the dial tone. I never seen you round back when I was down broke. You claim that you was round though. I put in months for this. I put in years for this. I put in blood, I broke a sweat, I shed tears for this. I'm everything I wanna be. And they said I